So you may have received some new Fire Stick updates, Fire TV updates over the last few days. I've received mine, Dr. Whiffy. Eric, he's received his. And let's have a look what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you're bound to receive it over the next couple of days. It's pushing out all the time and there's always new updates. And on this one, I haven't actually got the thing to come up on the screen currently because I clicked OK on it and it's gone, but there wasn't a lot to it. But they've been extremely sneaky. As always, they have tried to catch you out and mainly about your privacy. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Before we do that, though, if you are brand new here, do hit that follow button. You will stay up to date with all your security for your streaming device, all the movies, TV show apps and your privacy and every single setting you need to make sure you get the best experience for free. So what am I talking about? On your Fire Stick, when they push their updates, what they seem to be doing is turning settings back on. So you need to go and check your settings now because what they actually do is sneak more settings in privacy settings and they turn them back on again. It's almost like they reset to default when these go through. So to check your updates and you're up to date in my Fire TV under settings, if you go to the about section, you'll have check for updates. My update pushed. I've got the latest version and they've already pushed another one. So let me just do this quick. And there we go. So you check for updates, make sure you're on the latest version for your device. And then we go back and we get into our settings and you need to check all these are turned off because they turn them back on all the time. I know a few of you may have seen this a few times from me, but we have a lot of new followers. Um, on a daily basis, we gain lots of new followers. So it's worth us showing you and reminding you. So you go to settings, then you go to preferences. In here, there's quite a lot of different settings you need to get turned off. OK, so not only should you be running your VPN on your Fire Stick for your privacy. Um, if you need one of those, it's linked underneath. I'll explain more about it near the end. You need to go into your preferences and check your privacy settings. OK, so in here from the bottom, you need to disable as much as you can and turn them off. OK, interest based ads. I like to turn off because it allows apps on the device to use your advertising ID. So pretty much the ID all about you to advertise to you. Turn that one off. Collect app usage data. Allow Amazon to collect information relating to the frequency and duration of your use of third party apps downloaded from the App Store. So it wants to know what you're using and when you're using it. Turn that one off. Device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. This is all down for the interest based ads part as well. But I don't want them to market to me because of what they think I'm doing. Off. Cookie consent. This one here is quite important in my eyes. Not, some of you may not have it on the older devices. So if you have not got this option, just go and have a look on the Amazon website and you should be able to turn it off there. On this one, if you accept, we will also use cookies to enhance your advertising experience. This includes showing you more rela relevant ads and reducing the repetition. It allows. It also allows 103 third party to display and measure personalized ads. So that means if they're allowing them to measure ads, they are selling the information to them so they could advertise to you. If you decline, as you see, maybe more repetitive. That's fine. Decline. And manage sharing from apps. This is a new one they snuck on there. Make it easier to continue watching your favorite programs, improve your recommendation and ads and more. Select on to allow su supportive third party apps to share your viewing and information. So here. Shared information includes data about your viewing activity, watch list, recordings and rentals. We'll apply your choice to all apps that support this chip feature. We turn that off as well. OK, outside of that, we would like to turn off data usage monitoring. So unless you have um, a data cap on your Internet, you turn that one off. Notification settings. Do not interrupt, you turn to on. But it's still worth going through and turning off notifications for all of these applications. OK, everything in your list, because you don't need notifications on a Fire TV device. OK, featured content. This is the big advert on the front screen. So we turn that off. That's the one at the top of the screen on a Fire TV device that stops it coming on really loud. That's all of the ones in there. Next ones we can turn off. If you go into applications, Automatic offload. Automatically offload unused apps when your Fire TV is low on storage space. App data will be saved so you can easily reinstall the app later. The problem with this is 
it doesn't offload their apps you don't use it offloads apps that you might not use or you haven't used for a little bit so they can install more of their apps so it's all the third party apps that gives them the permission to offload them so turn that one to off and while i'm here i'm going to do my pet hate go to display and audio go to audio and navigation sounds navigation sounds are the most annoying ones on here um, navigation sounds is that clicking you might hear it now let me see if my audio is turned on for the fire stick can you hear that clicking i hate it so i turned that one off and that is going to be all of them for this video it's just the ones which they like to try and turn back on when we push an update or when they push an update should we say when we receive an update so get those all turned off hit that follow button for those who wanted the vpn this is the best one for your privacy and to keep your speed running help hide what you are watching on your device help hide what you are doing because you may have a high-end job you might not want to be showing um, people knowing that you are watching an adult app they might you might be watching something third party you want to hide what you're doing keep your data safe you should be using this in everyday life anyway your data is the most valuable thing on the internet these days to someone and they're after it so we like to use a vpn to stay safe that is linked underneath and if you can't find that link just comment vpn underneath and i'll send you the link perfect so i've been doc squiffy this has been eric he's been sat there making all those noises throughout the video and i'll see you on the next one